Today, I'm going to be doing a tier list of fighting everything with Yamo. This goes from absolute suffering to no effort whatsoever, and I've put everything that's irrelevant in this category. So to start off, I want to go with Yamo, because mirror fight. This is my personal opinion, by the way. This is not a generalist sort of thing. This is my opinion. So I'm going to put Yama there. By the way, if you want to get the tier list or you want to do the tier list, it is in the description. Feel free to send me it. I'd love to know you guys' opinions and you know, just whatever else with that. Uh, Ken 3. Ken 3 is funny. I'm going to put this as well. No effort. But using Ken 3 is actually pretty fun, believe it or not. That is if you actually know how to combo with it. So, I mean, it's not hard, but it's not as good as other things. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for the average person. Yama one, I'd also put in no effort. Probably a little bit more difficult. Hmm. Hmm. See. So Lycan one. Personally, I'd say it's. I say it's also easy, but it's a little bit more annoying than Yamo since I have a lot of experience with Yamo, and you know it's going to be easier to fight something you main than to fight something you don't really understand as much because you're going to know the move set, know the cooldowns, all that. What about PK? Uh, probably also put that in easy, but it's annoying, so. Mm, Scorpion 156. I'd put this... Not too annoying. Or no, wait. Yeah, I'd put this here. It's can be a little bit annoying, but basically no effort needed. Let's go with something a little bit harder. What about Kajiri? Uh... Personally, I'd put Kajiri in, like, high, decent fight. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not that much of a challenge. But good Kajiri can be quite the challenge to hit every now and then. Uh, what about Nishiki, Nishiki K1? Nishiki K1 has a similar moveset to Yamo. It just has less range and kind of sucks. Which is also the point, because it's a starter. Hmm, what about Edo K2? I'd also put Edo K2 in easy because Edo K2 is generally countered by Yamo, and it's pretty easy to dodge CF, which is the main source of damage when it, or when it comes to actually fighting Yamo. Um, Kakajira 1, I'd also put this in no effort, although laser is slightly annoying, so I'd put it higher. Anything that has long range is a little bit more annoying for Yamo to fight, because anything melee, Yamo can mostly outrange depending on what it is. Uh, what about T-Human? I have almost no experience fighting T-Human, but it's the sim it's a similar thing to Kakajira, but it's just... I'd say it's easier. Actually, no, I think I think it would be a little bit harder, just because the laser is more powerful, if the tier list would actually let me do that. Uh, Demon Yamada. I feel like also a no effort, but... Hmm... Also a little bit annoying. I'd say I put this I'd put this above Kakajira because high hitbox, spammable ranged move that also cancels. Mmm, Taki K1. And again put this in easy, but it's not no effort. Usually can be no effort, but it functions similarly to Taki K2, which would not be a no effort fight. And I'm kind of speaking more like similarly skill-wise are some of the more good players that I've seen use these. Not like I've not like I've seen like a really good Nishiki K1, but you guys get what I mean. Uh it's called Higher Mind. That would be similar to T Human. I think it would be a little bit more annoying. I'd put it in easy actually because it has quite a few counter moves that would be a little bit annoying to fight if I'm not careful. Oh, what about Tadara? I'd put Tatara in, like, a decent fight, but it really depends on the Tatara. All of this, it's like, mm. hmm. Kind of debating whether I should have moved Yamo somewhere else. Because Yamo is really easy for me to fight if I pay attention. But if I don't pay attention, Yamo can be devastating. But let's just assume I'm paying attention more or less to the to the fights just throughout all of them. Hmm. About like in K1. 
Actually, I want to change decent fight to annoying. So I wouldn't call these a decent fight, now that I think about it. Yeah, I'd put Lycan up here, but Lycan is easily countered by the lingering hitboxes and things that Yamo has, so it's not too much of a challenge, but Lycan's speed and CR can be quite annoying sometimes. Hmm. This varies with my experiences a lot. It's kind of difficult to put this together, think of what would be more difficult, because they're all so different, and each player is going to be fighting differently, better or worse. So it's hard to hard to put these in a certain place. Uh, Dojima 2, I'd put this in. A little bit annoying, but almost no effort. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good, because um, Dojima is also countered by lingering hitboxes. Uh, let's see. Kind of saving some of the... Or saving most of the stronger things for last. Let's go with Noro. I'm going to put Noro in pain. Which is probably going to be one of the only things that are going to go in pain. <laughs> because for both people fighting, a Yama versus Noro fight can be really brain dead and long. So... That it, well, that is if the Noro is actually good. But, uh, generally Noro is just a pain to fight for me. Uh, hmm. But Hinami. I put Hinami in easy. Above, above all of these, but not hard for me to fight. I need to add more categories so I can be more specific with this. If you guys do want to see more tier list videos, let me know in the comments what... It, it, comments. Let me know in the comments what tier list you guys want to see. Uh, let's go with Kaika. I put Kaika in hard because if you let them build up a minefield, it can be quite annoying. And it kind of is a counter to the rush style of playing, unless you can get them out of their minefield. So, yeah. Uh, let's go with Ginkui. I'd put Ginkui in hard. I wouldn't put it in very hard, because Ginkui could be quite annoying. But I guess, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd put it in hard. It's annoying, but it's not the worst. About 13 inch Jason. The Quinn K I hate. Uh, I'd definitely put it the most annoying, but I wouldn't say it's super difficult to fight, but I have no experience with it, so it does make it a little bit more annoying. Uh, what about Narukami? Most Narukamis, I'll put no effort, but higher up. What? Hello? There we go. Narukami is hard countered by Yamo, and I have... and oh, Man, I can't talk. I have a lot of experience fighting Narukami, so it's quite the easy fight. Usually. Uh, about Koshi. Koshi, I'd put annoying, but it's not that hard. What about Edo K1? At OK1, well, I'd also put an annoying, but it's not the worst. The uh, the C spec on Edo K1 is pretty annoying, but if you if you're really having issues, you can just wait it out and then attack in between, which what I did for a while until I just kind of got in, in a rhythm of being able to counter that in general. Okay, what about Ixa? Actually, I'm going to put Ixa in pain as well, because I really don't like fighting it. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to put it in very hard. Because it's it's not on the level of Noro annoying, but it is a good fight against me. I'd say, like, anything past annoying is, like, the average player is, like, a good fight. Well, hmm... Not the average player, but an, an average, like, above-average player. I, this makes no sense, but Ixa is one of the most annoying things for me to fight, because I have zero experience fighting it, and Noro is just on another level of stupidly annoying. So then, we have Kakajira. I'd put Kakajira in high, easy. I'd say it's more annoying than Hinami, but it's not a hard fight. Actually, I'm going to put it in annoying. I think it goes above these things. 
Uh, it really depends on the situation as well. I go to about Taki. I just put Taki in annoying, but ah, uh, hmm. Decently good Taki. I'd probably put here. No, I'd put it above Lycan. Go about Owl. Why does it always come down to these two things? I guess it's it's just always Crab or something. Crab is always just one of the last things. I'm gonna make it the last. Okay, for Owl, I'll put Owl in annoying, but uh, Koshi's a little bit more annoying because of the higher hitboxes and or just bigger hitboxes in general. Crab, honestly, the average crab that's kind of decent is still almost no issue for me. So I want to put it under, actually no, around here for me. Because I have way too much experience fighting at OK3, so I think it I think it deserves to go somewhere in the middle. Because it's still a hard counter to Yamo, but I have way too much experience. When I finish this off, I'm going to go a little bit more into detail to kind of explain these things. And if you guys have any comments that I'm not going to be addressing uh, over this next part of the video, then you can let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, Narukami, Narukami. I explained this earlier, but Narukami is just so easy to fight for me because... It's quite a common Queen K to see around, plus it is hard countered by Yamo. That put together, it makes it absolutely no effort to fight. Which is why I'd rank things I have less experience fighting a little bit harder. And then Yamo is an even match, so it's going to go somewhere in the middle. But it's also still easier than most things. But I wouldn't put it in no effort, because Yamo can still be devastating if you don't pay attention. Okay, for Hinami... Hinami used to be quite annoying to fight, but after learning a counter or two or just some things to know about it, it became so much easier to fight, but it's still... It's similar to Yamo, but I have less experience fighting it, and I also don't main it, so it's much harder in... Uh, it's... it's Man, I need to think. It's much harder to fight than Yamo in comparison, but it's still very easy. Um, Tatara. Tatara can be really annoying if they're good at dodging, but most Tataras aren't. Even the above average Tataras can't really escape me because of lack of movement and things. Even being able to dash, just my C counters anything that has just a small amount of movement. Kakajira is annoying, but it's not too hard of a fight. That's why I put it here. But it is still annoying because really long stuns, high click DPS. It's just, it's just a weird fight overall. And uh, Taki, Taki is more annoying than most things, but even though I counter it, there are some Takis that have been really annoying to fight. Most aren't too hard, but I wanted to rank it above some other things. It's kind of in the in-between, because I'm not the best at making a tier list, but it works. Then at OK3, like I explained, I have way too much experience fighting it. And that's just about it for it. Otherwise, it would probably be in hard or very hard, because... The things, well, Ginkui is just kind of BS. Kaika is pretty annoying. I have no experience fighting Ixa whatsoever. And Noro is just Noro. Uh, 13 is Jason. A lot of people probably think it, it would should be higher on this list because it's it has really short cooldowns and things, but it can be countered quite easily. And it's super easy to dodge as well. Owl I put here because... I can jump over a lot of um, a lot of projectiles and things, and even though Al has a lot of movement, I have a lot more movement, and it's pretty easy to hit and stun them, or well, hit and count, combo them, all that, all that stuff. Koshi is pretty similar, just has a little less movement but bigger hitboxes to kind of make up for that, as well as the stun. The stun makes it a lot more deadly. Owl does have a stun, but it's much shorter, and you can't do anything during that stun, so it's much less useful. Like I said, Genkui is just kind of BS, and it's annoying, but actually, I'm going to move it to annoying, but I wouldn't put it in hard, but it is very annoying to fight. Kaika, I would put hard because a lot of Kaikas can be very annoying regardless of their skill, Unless they just cannot use it whatsoever. They've had it for like 10 minutes. That's going to be an easy fight. But if they've used it for a decent amount of time, they're going to be quite difficult to fight regardless. Because I have a lot less experience with them, as well as it's just generally an annoying thing to fight. 
Ixa, like I explained, I have zero experience fighting. Therefore, I'm very bad at fighting it. And then Noro. Noro's just an absolute pain being a healing tank that I have to go rush melee on, which my playstyle is a bit more passive than the average Yamo. So it was it's annoying to adapt to that. I had a fight take like 20 minutes with a Noro, and it was so freaking annoying, but it was funny at the same time. Anyways, I think that's it for this tier list. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. And obviously, um, the link to the tier list is in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you, if you enjoyed, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.